guys, King Matt here, welcome to the video. Um, as you can tell by the uh, intro, this is the next chapter on my big American Civil War um, project, um, and that is the Iron Brigade. So um, <clears throat> this is something I've wanted to do for quite a while. Um, currently on the market, there's only really metal miniatures in 28mm for the Iron Brigade, and when you're trying to you know, um, collect quite a few miniatures, it can get expensive in metal. So it's why I've always sort of shied away from it um, but now with the introduction of sort of like 3d printing and stuff um, some files I've brought recently from Studio Historia they have some sculpts of the Iron Brigade so I've printed some been really happy with them so I'm just gonna I've gone ahead and printed the whole brigade and using that as sort of the the project um, <clears throat> so like I said it's 3d printed I printed it myself as well so I haven't got someone else to print it. I've just done it myself um, and I think quality wise has come out really nice they were all pre-supported from Studio Historia so I didn't really have to faff much I'm hoping to do a video sort of talking of through my method of 3d printing so um, hopefully that comes out in the near future um, but yeah so <clears throat> that's the the base um, obviously Iron Brigade looking really forward to it um, and I just thought I'd talk about why I think the Iron Brigade would be a good thing for anyone interested in the American Civil War um, and collecting it, and why this would be a good unit to to use and to represent your your Union force. So, the Iron Brigade, ha I would probably say, is one of the most iconic brigades out there for the Union Army. You know, alongside the um, Irish Brigade, for example. Um, so they were around sort of early war, um, kind of into the the late war um they took a real pummel in at Gettysburg and sort of after that they sort of ceased to be the traditional iron brigade we know um and but the, the core of them still remains they, they just got paired up with a few other regiments so the um the, the the forming brigade sort of finished just after Gettysburg um but uh yeah they're, they're but basically got a real big rep, good reputation for being tough fighters um and yeah, I think it, like I said, it's one of those. It's one of those brigades the arm, the Union could really rely on when it came to uh, get them out of a pinch. Um, for example, first day of Gettysburg when um, <clears throat> Heath was trying to shove the Union off the field. You know, Iron Brigade made a, a real valiant fight there and paid heavily for it. So um, yeah, they're really sort of a, a reliable, a reliable unit and tough fighters. So you know, anyone's interested in kind of having a sort of a, an elite unit on the board uh, on the table then yeah they, these guys are perfect really mm -hmm. um another sort of iconic thing about the iron brigade is they had special uniform or different uniform shall i say so not necessarily a uh, traditional union standard infantry men, regiment uh, uniform they had <clears throat> a few sort of differences which make them stand out so the probably most iconic thing about them is their hats so they wore a uh, sort of a wide brim black hat with one side folded up and it was pinned and it normally have the regiment badge on it they had like a blue cord running around the hat as well which looked really nice um <clears throat> they were actually nicknamed the black hats as well um for that so yeah quite an iconic thing about them they also wore a sort of a, a union dress frock sort of dress coat um and obviously it's more of a dress coat but they actually wore it in the field um so it made them stand out quite a bit and early war they they wore white gaiters as well on their boots and trousers which looked quite quite nice um <clears throat> unfortunately the sculpts i've got don't have those gaiters sculpted but it, like a lot of early war uniforms in the american civil war they tended to phase out after a year or so just because it's so tough to sort of keep the the uniforms going um so same with zouaves for example um a lot of, you find a lot of zouave regiments sort of lose their zouave uniform by mid-war just because it's so expensive to produce and obviously how long the war was going on and draining both sides um pockets um yeah you find they shifted into sort of a standard uniform um so it's kind of a bit like that with the, the iron brigade but still very cool uniform very cool y unit um <clears throat> i think a unit on its own just on the table they look great um, but if you go into a bit of research behind the unit as well, they've got a fantastic and interesting story to them. Um, you know, again, from the start of the war all the way through. So, um, and you find them cropping up in all these major battles where they actually played quite a major role. Um, so, yeah, again, it's a great unit to have. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop waffling, I'm going to jump down and we'll check out the miniatures um, and uh, we'll go from there. 
and here's the miniatures. So, um, like I said, these are 3D printed by myself, um, sculpts by Studio Historia. Um, and what you've got in front of you here is five regiments of the early to mid-war sort of Iron Brigade, the, the popular, well-known Iron Brigade. Um, those regiments were the 2nd Wisconsin, 6th Wisconsin, 7th Wisconsin, 19th Indiana, and the 24th Michigan. And that makes up the Iron Brigade. So um, <clears throat> what's nice with these sculpts here, you've got lots of different poses and stuff like that, which makes it possible to each regiment to sort of look different which is nice so i'll sort of run through what i've done here um start with i've got my officer on horse now this isn't at bit so i'm sort of basing this again around sort of gettysburg uh you had solomon meredith who uh commanded the brigade um i've actually got a sculpt for him um and it's not this one but i'm just using this as a represent but yeah so i've got the sculpt what i'm going to do is sculpt him probably with a uh, flag bearer so so he can have the brigade colors um as i think that'd be quite nice i've seen a few people doing it recently and um, i'm going to start introducing that to my collection so officer on horse um i've got skirmishes as well so five regiments plus some skirmishes so i've done 12 here <clears throat> um also, I'm looking at doing black powder or pickets charge, so I'm not sure how I'm going to model these. Um, I'm going to have a look and see how the skirmishes sort of function in those rule sets. But I might just, at the moment, as you can see, I might just do three to the base. And these are all firing poses. <clears throat> so, um, which look absolutely fantastic. Um, so, yeah. Ooh. I've mounted them on pennies purely for painting. Um, I'll be basing them on my 45mm wooden MDF bases, <clears throat> these ones. Um, so yeah, they're just on the pennies now for basing, uh, uh, for painting, and then they'll be shifted onto that big base. So yeah, I've got skirmishes here. Now I've got uh, one regiment in skirmish pose as well, um, just because they're really, really... The, the skirmish poses in this um, STL... Kickstarter I bought were phenomenal. They've got so many good poses. They look great. Um, so I want to try to make the most of them. Um, so that's why I've got that. Um, it is worth saying the HQs with this Kickstarter, they're all the same um, between these regiments. So you've got this one officer here, which looks very nice. Um, I've actually broken his sword scabbard, but um, it's just a maybe a, a cannonball winged it in the midst of the battle. Um, so, but the HQ's nice. You've got this, um, you've got two flag bearers. Um, I've used metal, and these don't come sculpted with poles. Um, some of the other sculpts that Studio Historia do come with sculpted flags. I've chosen not to use those ones, so I've just used metal pikes. So that's from North Star. They do like a pack of spears. I'm sure you can get them anywhere else. But I've cut them to where I think they should be, and I've glued them in. Um, but these these look nice. They do look nice. Um, as you can see here, I haven't really been talking about it, but you've got the the nice hat and the this sort of frock coat, which looks great. Um, they do give a choice of drummers as well. So you've got this one drummer here. Um, so he's like a drummer boy. He's a little, little drummer. Um, I'm trying to pick one out now. This one back here. He's an older drummer. Um, which is a, just a nice nice alternative, really, having that sort of the younger drummers, because you would have it. Um, got a piper as well. I thought we'd have a piper in as many of the regiments as I can, because it's being the Iron Brigade, you've got their classic pipe song. Um, so, yeah. Got a piper. Um, and a bugler as well. So, not all of the regiments have a bugler. Um, but these do... Or this one does so yeah um so i've got the firing regiment there in the firing poses and i've got just a standard marching pose um this is a bit like what the perry's currently sculpt with or you can do the perry's with this sort of marching pose so i've gone for that for one of them as i just think um it will match in with my other union units so standard marching poses with um bayonets and we've got this pose which is i've actually done two regiments with this because i really like the look of it so it's like a marching pose without the bayonets out but they've got some very nice 
bags. Now this um, this pose here, this only it's one of two for the Iron Brigade. Um, it's one of two poses with the backpack like this. So I've got two regiments of it. They're all going to look very similar, but I just couldn't resist that backpack. I think it looks great. So um, I think this is the other pose here. Here we go. So he's sort of looking ahead. Um, I've still got a bit of cleanup to do on the on the, the, the files and stuff from just where I've done the printing. So you can see like you've got the little um, support still, but that's just, you just pick them off, it's easy. Um, so yeah, there's two regiments like that. Um, and then the final regiment, which I love, um, I'd like to see in a lot of, a lot of metal manufacturers use this pose, which I think just looks ace and it's this quick march. So um, I've got one regiment like that. So they're sort of firing into battle, you know, charging him. Um, and it just looks superb. Looks really nice. So um, I don't know if you can see sort of on the hat, you've got the horn on the hat sculpted for, um, that's obviously the army badge. You'll, you'll have your regiment numbers in there as well. Um, and then you've got this like cord around the hat. So it's gonna make f for a real fun, painting project I think um but yeah that sort of makes up what I have for the Iron Brigade um and like I said I'm gonna do a bit of a nice command base as well and that'll make the brigade um so what I think obviously I'm going to try and show you as much along the way as I can I think to start with I'm going to paint up one regiment and show it off um just see how I'm, I'm getting on with it and my thoughts of painting these because obviously I've printed all these myself I haven't actually yet painted them so it'd be interesting to see how they paint up so I might do the skirmishes and the firing pose regiment first as they're quite nice to look at um, but we'll see so I'll paint them and I'll probably do another episode when we're on that so um, yeah long time coming I'm really excited for it I need to get back into painting I've had a bit of time off um, which I've enjoyed so uh, hopefully you know you guys enjoy enjoy this video and uh, follow me along for this project and I've got a big project planned after this um, It's kind of been inspired by this project, but we're gonna get this out of the way first and then we'll um, I'll show off the next bit. So yeah, catch you on the next video uh, Thanks guys for watching and yeah as always catch me and any other videos do in the future. Cheers